Today's quick tip is to problem solve out loud. Now, this is about being a role model to your child or the children in your care, because if we can problem solve out loud and learn out loud and basically take the things that are happening in our head and say them and show them, then our children or the children in our care can begin to learn from those processes. So what it can look like sometimes to our kids is that we just know how to do stuff, that we've got our stuff together and we just know what to do perfectly first time every time. That, believe it or not, no matter how it might feel to you, that is how it sometimes looks from the outside looking in for your kids. We know, I, I can't speak for you, I know for me, that's certainly not the case. And actually it's really important and helpful for my children to know that I face challenges every day too. I don't always know what to do, where to turn. I'm not always quite sure how to manage a situation. I'm not quite sure what a reliable source of advice might be here or who to talk to, etc. And actually making the effort to share these uncertainties, share these thought processes, think with my children about where I might go and actually sometimes engage them and ask for their advice as well increasingly as they get a bit bigger, that's a really helpful line of thought too, can be really helpful for all of us. It's kind of weird for your kids at first when they realise that you're not infallible, that you don't know all of the answers, that can be a bit of a strange moment of reckoning for them, but them learning how you learn, them observing how you problem solve, and them being able to copy some of your strategies for doing this can be incredibly helpful for them. Also, when you start to do this and you begin to engage a little bit more in problem solving out loud, learning out loud and so on, then A, you can often get really interesting input from the others around you who might have other ideas, and B, you become a lot more conscious of the process and sometimes actually that means you do it better or more thoroughly or you turn back to things that you might not have remembered to do otherwise because you're a bit more conscious of the process. So it's kind of a win-win in my view, although it can feel a little bit strange at first. I would love to hear in the comments whether you find this to be a helpful thing, whether you try to share the ups and downs and the challenges and your processes with your kids or whether you prefer to be the kind of sage on the stage and appear wise and as if you know the answers. What's the approach that you take um, and, and why does that one work for you? Thank you for watching and if you are enjoying my content please consider having, heading over to my Patreon page and subscribing there. The subscribers on my Patreon page help to enable me to keep creating content for parents and carers. This content rarely gets commissioned but I really, really want to keep making it. So head over there, join that community and please consider supporting me. Thank you.